So now we continue with example of ventrimeter. So this ventrimeter is having a throat at 1 to 0 mm. So this one at 0.2 is uh, throat at 1 to 0 mm. Okay, and then uh, the pipelines having a diameter of 250 mm. So this pipeline diameter of 250 mm. And we have the oil, okay, for the SG of oil is 0 0.85. So oil, we have 0 0.85 in the fluid, in the pipelines. And then uh, we have the flow rate of the oil at 0 0.12, or uh, 0 0.15 meter cube per second. Now we have the ventrometer. Okay, tapping at the inlet and outlet, and the throat F of the ventrometer is connected to a U tube manometer. So, uh, in this manometer, we have the mercury with the SG of 13.6. Okay, and then if the difference in mercury level is 0 0.63 meter, calculate the coefficient of this charge for the ventrometer. So, now we need to calculate the area 1. Area 1 is at the pipeline. So, we use pi d square over 4. We get 0 0.0491 meter square. And then, we calculate the area at throat A2. So, pi d square over 4, we get 0 0.0113 meter square. Okay, by putting this value into the equation of velocity 1, so this equation we get from this derivation. So 2GH, okay, over 2GH times with the P in the manometer density over the uh, density of the fluid. Okay, so we have the 2 times G times H. So H is the 0 0.63 times with the density of the manometer. So, we have density in the manometer is mercury. So, mercury we have the given SG is 13.6. So, when you give the given the SG, so to calculate the density, SG is equal to the rho of density flu, uh, fluid over the rho of water. So, therefore, the row of the fluid that is the mercury is 13.6 times with the row water 1000 so therefore you get 136600 over the uh, density of the fluid that is the oil so oil is sg uh, 0 0.85 again we use this formula to get the specific uh, to get the density 850 okay minus 1 and then we have the area of 1 minus area 2 over area 2 so you have the velocity at point 1 is 3.22 meter per second therefore the question is to calculate the coefficient of discharge so by having the formula of q actual over the Q theory time uh, ta, uh, equal to Q theory times the coefficient. So uh, we know that from theory we have uh, the Q equal to A V. Okay, so uh, A is zero point zero four nine one. Okay, for area of the pipeline. Times with uh, velocity, velocity is uh, 3.22, okay, for the in the pipelines. And then, uh, we, okay, we just times with these two, so you get the Q of the Q theory. So, this is theory. So, we have uh, Q theory over the Q actual. Actual is given in the equation. So, the actual is given in the equation that is uh, 0 0.15 meter per second. Okay. So, 0 0.15 over the actual uh, theory. So, you get the coefficient of discharge of 0 0.95.
Now, move to the next example. So, a pipeline inclined at 45 degree to the horizontal converge over a length of 1 of 2 meter from a diameter D1 of 200 and diameter D2 of 100. So, this is the pipeline inclined so from diameter of 200 to 100. Okay, and then the water is moving from V1 2 meter per second into V2. So, V2 is unknown. And then, uh, find the pressure difference across the 2 meter line ignoring any losses of energy. So, the relative density of mercury is given. Alright, so now, this is the uh, pipe inclines connected with the manometer tube. Alright, so now uh, let's look into this solution. So we are having the diameter of uh, diameter 1 of 0 0.2 meter, diameter 2 is 0 0.1, and then diameter uh, velocity 1 is 2 meter per second, and velocity 2 is unknown. So specific gravity for the mercury, for the SG, for the uh, SG for the oil is 0 0.9. Okay, so density of oil is 900 kilogram per meter cube. So by solving uh, using the uh, equation, binary equation, so we have H1 minus equal to H2. So uh, by having the flow rate Q1 equal to Q2. Okay, so we can solve uh, A, okay, and B. Velocity is given, so we can solve the V2 is at 8 meter per second and then uh, by having the inclined pipe at 45 degree so the length is 2 meter given in the question so you need to know the y the, the vertical direction so since the sine 45 degree equal to y over 2 so we have y is 1.415 414 meter and then by having the uh, Benelli equation P over rho G times V square over 2G times 0. Okay, so 0 is the Z at this one uh, section 1. And then P2 over rho G plus V square. V square is at the V square uh, V2. Okay, 8 square times uh, over rho G, uh, 2G plus the Z, the difference of the uh, from the datum to the y direction and then we have the p1 minus p2 okay so we can solve this and we know the difference in pressure is 39.486 kilopascal by having uh, the left limb and the right limb so we must solve uh, for it each side okay so px is equal to the pressure plus the rho gh so rho is for the density of the oil okay so we know that uh, density 0 0.9 okay so uh, specific gravity is 0 0.9 so we have uh, density of oil is 900 times the gravity times the z1 z1 is uh, uh, Z1 uh, okay we uh, unknown Z1 okay and then we can solve uh, P1 plus okay solve this and you get 8829 Z1 so for the right limb we have Px okay uh, equal to the okay so for the right limb since we have a manometer tube okay having the mercury and the oil so therefore <coughs> We need to uh, calculate for the oil first. So we have 900 times G times the Z2 minus H. Okay, so H is unknown. Okay, so this H for the uh, mercury. Okay, so uh, we plus uh, the mercury punya density. So we have 136. Okay, 136 times uh, 1000. So we have 13600 times with the G times with the H, H unknown. So therefore, we need to leave this equation uh, in the form of P, P2 plus 8829. 
Z2 plus uh, 12457H. Okay, so by having uh, Px equal to the Px at the left side equal to the right side. And then we just uh, put all the unknown parameters. And then uh, P1 minus P2, we have 39.486. Okay, so uh, we can solve the equation. And then we know that H is 0 0.2. 217 meter okay so now let's try this so we have a venturi meter having a throat at 100 mm fitted vertically in a pipeline with diameter of 250 so this is the pipelines diameter of pipeline is 250 mm so this is the throat venturi meter Venturi meter having okay so the diameter of the throat is 100 mm so the venturi meter having a throat of 100 mm at two eh so so now uh oil of okay so given given all this so oil for the sg uh five uh eight five zero times uh, 9.81 so we have the uh, sg for oil and then we have the density uh, mercury okay so times with it so rho g is 133416 and then the h2 plus okay so h2 plus 0 0.6 3 equal to h1 plus 0 0.3 okay so 0 0.3 is 30 centimeter okay so therefore h2 plus 0 0.33 equal to h1 means that h2 plus 0 0.63 minus 0 0.3 so minus 0 0.3 equal to 0 0.33 so h2 plus 0 0.33 equal to h1 okay so by considering the manometer uh, at the left limb okay we have px equal to p1 plus rho g times h okay so uh rho g we have uh, 833.8338.5 uh, plus h1 so h1 okay so uh, for the right limb we have px equal to p2 plus the rho g times h2 this is for the oil so left limb we have oil and mercury okay so plus mercury is 133416 times h uh h okay h uh, 0 0.63 cm okay 0 0.63 so px equal to p2 so we simplify this into this okay now uh, we having px left limb equal to the right limb so we just put all the values and then you can solve uh, the h2 so into one equation so we get p1 minus p2 81.3 kilopascal Therefore, for flow rate 1 equal to flow rate 2, we have this permit, this equation. So, but, so, by having the diameter 1 of the throat is, uh, okay, diameter 1 of the pipeline is 250mm. Okay, pipeline is 250 and diameter of the throat is 200, uh, 100 at D2. So, we can use okay so we can solve this okay by remaining uh, v1 and v2 unknown okay so we use the formula for the Bernoulli okay so by having the v2 square over v1 square so this is unknown and then the difference in the vertical distance is 3 centimeter 30 centimeter so it is 0 0.3 so we can solve the v1 is 2.207 so therefore we can calculate the theory uh, by using 
the equation of Q equal to AV. So V is 2.2 